Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we are going to deploy our Node.js application to Heroku. So Heroku is a cloud platform which uh, supports several languages and these are the languages which are supported by Heroku. So if you have an application written in any of these languages, you can deploy your application to Heroku. We are most interested in Node.js. So the first step is to visit heroku.com and then you can create an account if you don't have one by clicking sign up here if you have an account you can just log in and this is what i am going to do i am going to log into my account using an email and a password once you log in the first step is to create a new application so i'll use this button right here and then click on create new app give your app a name node hyphen to do hyphen app and you'll see that this name is already taken and not available so what i like to do is to prefix the name uh, using my own name so i'll say ciao hyphen node to do app and this is now available Choose a region, I'll go with the default and then create app. Once the app is created, you'll be redirected to uh, instructions on how you can deploy your app. And we have several deployment methods. We have Heroku Git, GitHub, and then Container Registry. In this video, we are going to stick to Heroku Git. And to use Heroku Git, we need to make use of Heroku CRI. So the next step is to install Heroku CRI. I have already installed Heroku CLI, but for you, uh, you need to click on this link. Let me open it on a new tab. And you launch a page just like this one. Once you scroll at the bottom here, you'll see instructions on how to install on different OS. So make sure you install Heroku CLI. And then the other step is to follow these instructions. Uh, and these are a few instructions. So it will take us a few minutes to deploy our app. So I'll go to my uh, application here where I have my man application and then open the backend. So the backend is what we want to, inst uh, to deploy on Heroku. And I'll open this path on command prompt. I'll type CMD right here hit enter and this will open my command prompt on that particular path or directory so i can zoom in a little bit so that you clearly see what i am doing so right here the first thing that we can do is to check whether heroku cri is installed in our machines by using this command heroku uh, space hyphen v so right here we get the version of Heroku CRI that we are using. If you don't get a version and get an error, you'll know that Heroku CLI is not installed in your machine and you need to install it. The next step I'll do is to initialize a git repository using this command git init. So this will initialize uh, an empty git repository and then I can open my backend code on Visual Studio Code using this command code space and a period. This should open uh, my code on Visual Studio Code. And here is our Node application. So index.js is the root of our application. And the first thing that I want us to do is to ignore these Node modules. So we don't want to push Node modules to Heroku. Uh, because Heroku will automatically install the necessary dependencies using our package uh, .json. So what I'll do, I'll come at the root of the app and create a new file. And this file uh, is called git ignore. And then hit enter. So once this file is created, we can use it to ignore uh, the files or directories 
that we don't want to deploy to Heroku and in this case we want to ignore our node modules so right here I'll use a slash and then include node underscore modules now the next step is to add the necessary files to the staging area so I'll come back to the command prompt here if I say git status you'll see that all these files are untracked and we need to add them to the staging area and right here you should not see node modules if you see node modules uh, something is wrong go and ignore it properly so right here I'll add these files to the staging area so I'll say git add and then a star meaning all of these files and then hit enter and then right here if I say git status you will see that uh, all of these files were added to the staging area and now we can commit these changes using git commit and then minus m and I enter a message maybe I can say not up and then hit enter now the only thing that remains is to push these files to Heroku so the next step that I'll take here is to log into Heroku so I'll say uh, Heroku login hit enter and you'll see place any key to open up the browser to log in or Q to exit so I'll place any key to log in and this I should open the browser so I have my browser opened here and you only need to click login here and now you can see you can close this page and return to Heroku CLI it should now be logged in so if I come back here you can see now I am logged in as Charles and the next thing that we need to do is to add our remote repository to our local repository here so I'll go back to where we had instructions for deploying we have done uh, the login we created a new repository now we need to do this okay to add this remote repo to our local repository so I'll copy this command Heroku git uh, full colon remote hyphen a and then the name of the application and then come back to my command prompt and paste it here hit enter and now this uh, have created a connection between our local repository and the remote repository so if I come right here you will see that we did this okay we added the files we committed the files uh, and only this last step remains but before we push the files uh, I have remembered something that we have not done and that is specifying a command to start our application while it's uh, deployed to Heroku so if I come to my app here you can come to package to JSON file and we need to uh, write a script here so I can expand this so one way is to write a, a script here a start script so you can say start and then you specify the command here the command will be node and then the root of our application is index.js and I should include a comma and spell this one correctly so we need to include this command at the scripts so that Heroku uh, knows which file and which command to run uh, so that our application can uh, run correctly so this is one way of doing this the other way is to create what we call a block file and that is what I'll stick to so I'll just remove this one I just wanted to show you an alternative so if I come right here so uh, this is the documentation of uh, the block file if I scroll at the bottom you'll see that uh, a proc file is simply a text file 
called proc file without the file extension. So it's not written as procfile.txt, rather it's written only as proc file. So a proc file uh, have this format where we have the process type and then the command. And the process type can be web, worker, and then agent worker, clock, and so on. So the process type uh, in our case will be web. So let's create this block file and then uh, I'll show you the command that we need to include there. So right here, uh, I'll add a new file. Okay, I need to remove this because we are not uh, using it. So at the root, I'll create a new file. Call it proc file, starting with a capital letter and then proc file. We don't have any extension. So this is the proc file. And then right here, uh, the process type is web and then full colon. And then the command that we learn is node index dot js and you can see this exact command that we had included in package.json now we need to add this file to the staging area and commit it so that uh, it can also be deployed to heroku so right here i'll say uh, git add all files and then if i say uh, git status you can see this new file is the only one that was added to the staging area i'll say git commit and then minus m and what i'll say here is added a block file hit enter and now the only thing that remains is to push our application to heroku so if i come here you'll see that we have this command git push uh, heroku master so i'll copy that command and then i'll include it here hit enter so you can see now it's uh, deploying it's installing node modules Proc file have been uh, identified and it's web. And now our application have been deployed. So if I come back to our account here, I scroll at the top and then go to overview. Uh, you'll see just now we have deployed the app and build succeeded so you can open the app right here open up and you'll see this welcome message welcome to our to do's api and this message is the one that we included in our index.js file just right here at the root so if we try to access our to do's we should get an error of not authorized because we are protecting our uh, to do's api so if i come here and then uh, add that extension right here for our to do's hit enter you'll see not authorized so our application have been successfully uh, been deployed and you can customize the domain name uh, at our settings if you don't want to use this uh, Heroku app.com domain name. You can come to settings. When you scroll at the bottom here, you can set uh, SSL certificates, and then we have somewhere where you can uh, add a domain name. So now we have successfully deployed our Node.js app on Heroku, and in the next video, I'll show you how to deploy a React app for free on Netrify. Thank you for watching and also remember to subscribe to my channel.